in the supply chain world, what kind of trade-offs are people really willing to make? Mm-hmm. I think ultimately people want to minimize those trade-offs. Right. But when they do have to make them, what are the biggest priorities? What are the must-haves right. versus the nice-to-haves? So whenever you're looking at the trade-off, it's always effective versus efficient. Every one of our clients are doing that. So what we're seeing out there is you have to identify that client. Some are trying to, we actually have a few who have gotten so efficient, they're not serving their customers well. And then we've got others on the other side who are so effective that waste is everywhere. So the whole idea and the challenge for them is getting the visibility of where that occurs in their supply chain. Is it in the inbound transportation cycle? Is it trying to capture the demand to be able to run into their planning cycle? And so what we're seeing folks do is, yes, they understand and they're trying to get the concept of a SCON versus just, I got a bunch of connected trading partners. They're trying to actually make a withdrawal from the national bank of the supply chain because they've got so much inventory and capacity wrapped up within the supply chain. They don't know where it is, they can't find it, but their CFO can sure find it. And he's sitting there going, here's what our landed cost is. And so that's what we've started to see within our customer customer base and all our clients is they're going, okay, I know I have to get to this operating network, but how do I get it to operate? And how is that different than me just connecting a few people and connecting a few more so in the end, they're all talking back and forth to my ERP package. So it's kind of like that next layer so they can see what's actually flowing through the supply chain. Is it fair to say then that balance between effective and efficient is ultimately the excellence that they're looking for? Is that the third E? Yeah. You you mentioned Sky. Right. That's the supply chain operating network. Mm-hmm. It's essentially what we do. Mm-hmm. How does that message resonate relative to that balance between efficiency and effectiveness? Right. The the excellence part becomes, is really where we see it, is that how fast can I move back and forth between effective and efficient? Because you think about it in the product life cycle. The product life cycle, like when you buy your, your Apple iPhone, right? We're all... We're all happy about our i6 now, right? (laughs) Right now, Apple's supply chain is extremely inefficient. It's got so much bubble, but it's effective to get us the i6. Mm -hmm. But if I look back at our i5, it's gone and it's extremely efficient, but it's not very effective because it's now all built with the capacity of of the i6. So the more, and everybody says Apple is the excellent supply chain. What we're watching our clients do is struggle with trying to get to excellence because they all have these product life cycles that are all over the map, but they've designed their supply chain to operate one way. One way doesn't fit. (laughs) So what they have to do is figure out how can I take the visibility within a network and then use the apps that I've already bought that are sitting on the shelf and many times they tell us to do the wrong thing because they're not connected in such a way as to give visibility what's happening through the tiers of the supply chain and that and therefore it inhibits their pro, their um, processes to be able to go back and forth between efficient and effective for a given customer or for a given product because you'll see when you deal with Walmart, it better be efficient, right? <laughs> oh. But if you're dealing with smaller tonnages, let's say that's going line side to a automotive manufacturer, you gotta be effective because they have to have that product in that tonnage now. And if many of our clients who come from a, a world where they used to ship rail cars at a time, they're having a hard time figuring out how do I just do that small amount and get it right there, right where I need it. <laughs>